This is a DUI Choose Your Own Adventure, part 54. Now, you're right, he doesn't believe you. He thinks you're under the influence of alcohol and drugs. So, you had a couple of drinks, he asked you. How much have you had to drink tonight? You told him that, which is the truth. So then he asked you. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? Now you declined the field sobriety test, which is a good idea. You don't want to be out there parading, that never goes well. But then he asked you. Would you mind blowing his portable breathalyzer? To which you decided to blow in the breath test. Not a great decision, but you did it. You're assuming it blew below the legal limit, but that wasn't enough for the officer, as it never is. So then he asked you. What kind of drugs have you been taking tonight? And drugs, you said no, and you're right, he doesn't believe you. So, here's what happens now. He thinks it's a combination of drugs and alcohol, and most likely, you are getting arrested. How is that possible? Well, he already has suspicion. He's asking you to do field sobriety, and he's asking you to do the breath. He's already got suspicion that you're under the influence, and now that he's got confirmed that you do have alcohol in your system, he's just gonna put the rest together with the possibility of drugs. You see, there is a joke that runs around the police stations. Two drinks, two hours ago, that means two handcuffs for you. Now, of course, there's a possibility that if he doesn't smell alcohol and you aren't talking a lot, so you're not giving any indication that you've been drinking, he might let you go. But I've never seen it, and I reviewed at least a thousand case studies. And all of the lawyers that I talked to have never seen it. Once they start the investigation, you are going in handcuffs in the back of the car. Sorry, check out 100 No Cuffs for a few other ways to play this event. See if you can make it home in your car instead of the back of theirs.